Hey guys, and welcome back to Auction Not Included, Clay's Amazing Space College Simulator Extraordinaire. My name is Twitchy, and we are in the Rock for the Brains, a selection of asteroids out in the wilds of space where we have taken over three of them Reverslin, Pyaxlin, and Blagolia. And I think it's time we made Blagolia livable. We have two uh, duplicates on here at the moment we have Curie and we have Goddard. Let's uh, try and find Goddard down here. Uh, both are having not the best of times, it has to be said. Their stress is high. But this is to be expected from people that are used to the lap of luxury from Pyaxlin over here Where all their needs were met they were thrown over to a brand new rock But they are the people with the skills so they are the only ones that can make it happen So uh, let, let's go ahead. I, I need to take care of a few things immediately One is uh, the water source hasn't actually been figured out and I, I realized the reason why is because the duplicates can't climb up here I'm gonna ask for these ladders to be put in place. Hopefully we can jump across We also want to do something about all this polluted dirt we've got here. Let's uh, Let's, let's actually try and just fill that in and hopefully that'll mean that we're not just getting the horrible polluted oxygen everywhere. That's going to be something else that we need to take care of. But another thing that I need to take care of, uh, we've got carbon dioxide building up down here. That might sound like a problem, but actually if we have a look at our dust caps, uh, we need to supply them with uh, carbon dioxide. We also need to supply them with slime. Now the carbon dioxide just show you've got a load the slime have a look at these puffs uh, if we look here they uh, they eat the polluted oxygen that's around they just destroy it you know 50 kilograms per cycle but they then produce slime 55 percent of the uh, of the gas they get that's that that's brilliant so we'll be uh, making a puffed ranch as well i don't know i don't know about that one but the, the, that's definitely the two things we are aiming for now i think i'm going to put the mushroom farm here because it's close to uh kitchen living space or what will be the living space there's a Paku fill it up there. Hopefully that will get taken care of at some point. All right, they, they all go over there. Another thing that I want to do is kind of put down a little bit of a tile over like so. Uh, let's count down four. One, two, three, four. Put down another line of tile there because I feel like putting down these uh, and some furniture. Uh, we can start thinking about people having comfy beds to sleep in rather than the, the horrors that we're making them live in at the moment. And then this also leaves room in front. Uh, this, this four by four is actually larger than you need for a bedroom but I might move the, the pneumatic door forwards one uh, because I want to come into well let's start with the medicine actually uh, mo moving a sink on the outside very important uh, and then plumbing we want to have a lavatory yeah we can we could leave one more room let's uh, let's copy that and then cancel that uh, and then we, we can put obviously the the thing that we put in everybody's bedroom a flower pot I've got a feeling by the time we are done with today's episode, this area will not look like it does right now. We're, we're going to put a lot of changes into effect. Like, I want to put, put these across here as well. Uh, I'm not sure what's going to happen with this space that I'm kind of outlining here. I think it might be a utilities cupboard, somewhere where the power and stuff like that runs through. Yeah, that, that might be something that we do. Are we keeping the algae and the gold amalgam? Like, it's a, it's a nice little feature. Maybe. There is a buried object under there, though. Actually, actually, I've changed my mind. We're going to cancel that lot there. We, we, we need a space that we can go in and out of from the top if we're going to be growing mushrooms because we need to collect a whole bunch of carbon dioxide and obviously carbon dioxide, it settles in the low areas as I have uh, previously stated. So if we have ourselves a little like bucket room underneath, uh, maybe that's where... Oh, look, we've got hydrogen. Maybe that's where we can keep them. Uh, mushrooms are only uh, too high when they are fully grown. So if we allow a, like three space, here yeah that, that might be what we do so if I come along grab the food we don't need the hydroponic setup we just need the farm tile we'll go across like this I like to leave a little bit of space here for I, I don't know like a little storage area or stuff like that but of course we also want to keep the rover uh, pride of place like the, these people the, these these yeah these people that helped us get set up here we, we need to honor them this this guy's gonna have problems though because I want I want to carry on this line all the way down Oh, I just watched someone die. I hope that was for old age. So I have been following them around, and by the looks of it, most of the stress is coming from environmental factors, which we should be able to solve by by cleaning up the liquids around here. I mean, that isn't easier said than done. Have you seen how many liquids are around? Oh, look at the little Pyfraku. Uh, but like, uh, yeah, what, what the, the, these guys need to move somewhere nice, I think is what we're trying to say here. May, maybe this area over here could just be a huge uh, Paku farm. I think I think that would be a good idea. Like take a wall up here we've got a volcano uh, i think this one was aluminium and this one was cobalt yeah yeah so uh, I, I like we could build this over 
this way and then this one to feed in. Like, could you see these having the same chilling unit? I think they might. Oh man, there's another one over here. Hmm, Curie is going on a bingey. I wonder if I can change this. Let's change the crew to just Curie, not Gullard, and, and let, let's lock her up for a bit. Is that is that something that happens? That is something that happens. Okay, this is kind of good because on the interior here, I've got, I've got no food. I've got no food. Yeah, that's right. I'm locking up my duplicates because they're sad. <laughs> I think I think we've hit peak dystopia at this point. This is this is this is this is something. Uh, she's just gonna have to wait until she's not expressing herself anymore, and then we can talk. Okay, now Goddard is having trouble even finding food. I, I hope he gets over that. I really do. Let's see what's going on. Still a hundred percent. Still still a hundred percent. Kiri, could you just like move up here? Maybe maybe, maybe that would keep you breathing for a little bit longer i'm not i'm not trying to suffocate you i'm, I'm really not I, w I wonder if this is actually effective or the fact that she can't binge eat means that she's not gonna get i don't know we'll, we'll, we'll be back i suppose <laughs> okay he's managed to pick up food that that's good i we need to make sure gullard can eat before anything else happens I have actually asked for food to start being shipped over, but we're at the mercy of the rad bolts, and I'm I'm not made a very good system. <laughs> ah, he dropped the food just outside. Good work, good work, got that. Oh, Cu Curie's okay. Okay, all right, that that worked. That worked. Segregation was the key. Who who knew? Oh no, Curie will pull the food out of the grill when she's having a bad time. I mean, we do know how to deal with this, but I wasn't expecting her to be quite so ooh, quite so stressed so quickly. Uh, I'm surprised at how quick that happened. I need I need to fry up my food so we get better returns from it. Okay, hopefully if Curie eats some good food, cook seafood no less, this should this should help her stress even more, yes? I, I hope, I hope. Minus 25 per cycle sounds pretty good. Uh, I don't I got a feeling that's not gonna stay there. Minus 45 per cycle. That sounds even better. How how did we do that? It's the high morale which I'm putting down to the food. Let's slow down the game a little bit here so we can have a look. Good meal plus eight. Yeah, look at that. Okay, that's that's good. I think getting a, a good cooked meal on the go is probably one of the most important things. Let's have a look at the morale here as well. Uh, we've not got the, uh, the, the the buff yet, but I think it's going to help. Also, stress that cold air. We need to try and do something about that. I've got a feeling it's just going to warm up here anyway after a little bit of time, but that doesn't help us right now. Oh, yeah. No, that doesn't help us right now. Also, I'm aware mistakes have been made. We've managed to uh, to bury our good friend here. So I'm, I'm going to try and let this through if we can. Hopefully, Curie can come along and uh, make, make things happen here. I'm hoping taking this tile out will just allow him to drop through. Them? Allow them to just drop through. Going down in here seems to be the worst plan. Let's not do that. It's uh, 14 kilograms of pressure down here when they're used to 1.2 kilograms. That's the, that's a big increase. But it's very wet. You have to come down through a whole bunch of water. Yeah, they, they don't like it down there, so let's not make them go down there. Okay, first, first block is being taken out. I don't think that's going to be enough, though. We definitely need to get this sedimentary rock in place, which Curie's like, no, that that's old news. We, we need to wait for that. So let's, let's pump up the priority. Barely touched it. <laughs> okay, here we go. Final tile being taken out. Is it enough to let them drop through, or am I going to have to take this tile out as well? Oh. That was unexpected. I'll take it. I'll take it. Um, but that, yeah, very unexpected. I'm just going to fill this this hole in it as well because it's leaking polluted dirt. I mean, yeah, that's, that's a double win there, right? That's exactly what I wanted. Yeah. But whilst we watch Curie take this moment to go around and build all the ventilation pipes for moving carbon dioxide about, I would like to take this moment right here to thank the people that are helping me sort my life out. That's right. My patrons. Scrolling up the screen right now, you will see a list of names. A list of names of guys and girls that have taken the time out of their day and the monies out of their wallet. They went along to patreon.com forward slash twitchy, made a monthly pledge for a currency donation, and made sure that me and my channel can continue on into the future. 
So I really would like to say thank you very much, guys. It is literally thanks to you guys that I can do what I do. So Goddard seems to be getting into more trouble stress-wise, but mostly because he's coming over here and dealing with all these high-pressure environments. One of the things I'm trying to do to deal with the high pressure is to start moving some pneumatic doors into the system so that we can uh, just equalize the pressure out, maybe vent some to space. That's that's always a good way of uh, using our equipment, right? What's, what's in this one? This is still sand. Okay. Down below, we're just waiting for a few more elements to get put in place for our carbon dioxide delivery system. System. We've got a gas vent up here, just a normal gas vent, so that we can just carry on pumping all the carbon dioxide we like into here. And then when we get a, a nice full layer, this will overpressurize and won't allow us to pump any more. Uh, of course, just a little bit of a test here to make sure that we actually have carbon dioxide in the area around. And yes, we have a lot of that stuff. And somehow, Goddard doesn't have the Great Meal Plus 8, so that that's, I feel quite conclusive proof that the great meal is it's very important very very important okay whilst it's great that we've got all the hardware got got out all the hard no no all right well whilst it's great we've got most of the hardware in place no one's come along to turn on the generator yet if i turn up the errand here goddard says yeah i'll do that next all right that's good um it's not i mean okay <laughs> it's not quite where i want to be guys thanks though okay so now the what the, so, uh, okay, so now we've got some carbon dioxide flowing. We've got a bunch of polluted oxygen in there as well. I bet that's from the fact that, yeah, now that we're lowering the pressure down here, we've got a little bit of... Um, now that we're lowering the pressure down here, we've been able to off-gas some polluted oxygen from the polluted water. That That's not great, if I'm to be honest with you. We, we can wait for it all to just settle out. I'd like to get rid of these two tiles here as well, if at all possible, because that will almost definitely lead to better gas exchange. Kira's a bit tired, though. Ah, also, we're about to run into uh, serious troubles. We do we do have some paku we can eat just lying around. I mean, has it been 25 days yet? No, no, it, it has not. Uh, how about some of the other pools that we've got? 18 and 20. I wonder why they've not dropped an egg yet. I don't I don't see any eggs anyway. I'm not sure at what point... Oh, look at all these paku fillets in here. I'm not sure at what point they do start dropping eggs. Doesn't look like it's before 20, though. Oh, I'm not sure what's happened here. We seem to have got a nice water delivery. I bet some ice has been put in here somehow. And now we've got a whole bunch of liquids everywhere. Mm, that's not ideal. I'll tell you what I do need, though. Let's let's go to all of these. I, I need these delivered. And I need them delivered, like, right now. Oh, of course they're right next door. Of course. Okay, that's the majority of them in place. Let's try and sweep everything up. I don't think it's going to know what to do with the water bottles, because I don't know what it's going to do with the water bottles. It doesn't put it down here. I wonder what it does do with them. But we've got some growing now. It's, it's going to take a little bit of time, though. It's definitely going to take a little bit of time for them to grow. Back in the box with Curie. It suddenly all went wrong again, and I'm not actually sure why. I think it's something to do with the fact that she hasn't got any decent food in her. Her morale has just, like, tanked, and I suppose those eight points would help. I'm not seeing a bedroom, and I'm not seeing a washroom. Yeah, there's, there's some problems here. Okay, that that was just a small overnight stay. That that That's fine. That's fine. Now, my real question, is it really going to take seven and a half cycles to grow domestically? I mean, we're already at 20%, and I I feel like we've taken more... I feel like 20% of, uh, of seven and a half is, is not like one cycle or whatever it's been. Maybe my perception of time just isn't, isn't working properly. One thing that I think I'm going to have to commit to, and I think I'm going to commit to it over here, is to put down the, if I can find it in here, the mini pod. I'd like to, I'd like to throw it over here somewhere, and uh, yeah, wherever it fits, really. Okay, it might be time for some tactical killing. I notice we're at zero, but there's also two Paku in here with two fry eggs. So uh, I think we can get down there and deal with them. These guys must be getting close. They're halfway. They're halfway. What about what about you guys down here? 
Okay, so what one of these ones? This this one here, in fact, we can get him as well. Okay, we, we can start making our way through and uh, ca causing a bit of a ruckus, I think. Okay, there's our first Paku fillet. That's nice. We need to get this up here cooked nice and soon. Of course, uh, clearing of all the polluted water is also a thing that needs to happen. Put some attack orders down, build ourselves an all. Oh, no, no, he, sw he swam into the way. Okay, oh, he also ate the seed that we'd put down. That's, that's a little unfortunate. I suppose it's going to add to a more nutritious meal, yes? No. But now that those are done, we're going to get everyone to be uh, moving stuff over. Now, Curie is on the very verge of needing to be locked back up again, but we'll, uh, we'll, we'll get her a decent meal, and I'm sure her hangry will uh, subside nicely. Okay, 97% stress. I think we can uh, safely say that Curie can just um, can spend some time in, 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 the, in the rocket. Just have, have a little thought. See, just feel some alone time, you know? We've got to figure out very quickly how to get cleaner oxygen into here. This, this is going to become a bit of a problem at some point. 98%. Hopefully... Uh, hopefully she's going to just be fine. All right, night time has happened and Curie is complaining of unreachable food. But unfortunately, unless her stress goes down, she, she's just going to have to stay the night there. Let's uh, let's turn this off of grounded and hopefully she can like have a good night's sleep. She's probably not going to have a good night's sleep. Okay, Curie did not have the best night, but she's allowed back out. That that's all good. Low morale. Oh, that's that's not great. If, if only there was a way to fix that. Okay, we've managed to put off starvation for another day, just, just, just about. So we're going to build this uh, this little printing pod here. I'm hoping, if I'm to be honest with you, because there's principles available, that we're going to get a, a nice little um, activate. There we go. We can also inspect that. Look at that. Uh, discarded journal in, uh, remains inside. How? How? Okay, let's view that entry. Oh, man. If, if you want to read it, there you go. I'll probably read it later. Uh, no one wants to change the setting. Let's 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 get that changed, shall we? All right, brilliant. Let's uh, let's watch this get get going on. All right, get rid of the the, the new entry. Uh, of course, it takes a little bit of time to get it pumped up and ready to roll. But I feel like Curie's going to be able to get this in hand while she's doing that. I'm gonna put down some new mop orders. All right, brilliant. And here we go. We got ourselves a printing pod. Choose the blueprint, Brian. Uh. No. <laughs> yeah, I don't, I don't want any of these. Oh, look, the selection is different. Let's go with the shine. No, no, I, I don't like this either. Oh, look, the selection is different yet again. I mean, hatches, we could, we could do hatches, but I was kind of hoping for some real food, you know? Some pickled meals, some bog jelly, not, not, uh... No, not dirt or oxalate. Bam! It took a fair few re-rolls, but here we are with some barbecue. That that's what I need for it, really. Uh, that's that that's great. That's gonna help us into the future just a little bit. And until until all these mushrooms can grow. That's that's all we're waiting for, is the mushrooms to grow. And then we need to put a puff farm. And then we need to farm the paku. And then we need more bedrooms. And then we need a nature reserve. And then and then maybe we can get on to taking on the metals from this planet. Yes. <laughs> Nature Reserve might be over the top. Okay, this is going to be bad for Curie. We, we know this is going to be bad for Curie, but we're going to do it anyway. That's quite a lot of water in there. Okay, we're going to let it float. Do we just dig it? Let's just dig it out. Let's just dig it out. And sure, it will be fine. Oh, and she passed out. Okay, fair enough. <laughs> She's getting stressed in her sleep. We, we should move her up to here and, and let her just sleep up there. That, that might be a better plan. Hopefully. I have tried to move duplicates into bedrooms before and they've ended up actually running back to where they've wanted to be. Okay, I mean, I suppose that's fine. I, I shouldn't have woken her up when her stamina was above. I don't know. I don't know what point they'll go back to sleep. If anybody knows, please do let me know. <laughs> we are, we are going to have a bust through at some point. This is just going to collapse. So all of this is going to slump into... The, well, that, I mean, it's not all going to slump because it will only go down. But all of this should break at some point and all the water will drop. That, that'd be great. Okay, morale is high. Stress is lowering. 
I'm not sure how much of that is just because I... Oh, no. Very little of it is because I'm watching her. Great. So everyone's stress is starting to settle out now on Blagolia over here, but more importantly, I do believe we are starting to get deliveries of must caps here. Uh, the none are actually ready. Here we go. This is the one that we wanted to see. God, I'm coming along to or uh, to harvest the dust cap. I'm hoping that he'll then immediately pick this up and run it to the grill. That's good. We've got ourselves a mushrooms being delivered. Uh, it's a bit of a shame that he's not instantly going on to cook. Uh, it turns out we need two and a half thousand calories of mushroom to turn that into 2.8 oh that's not big gains but it is gains and that's that's the important part but i think with that i am going to say thank you very much for joining me for this adventure ladies and gentlemen i will see you guys next time we're going to try and expand maybe the paku farm but also we need a good source of slime so getting a puffed farm underneath will also go down rather well so i'll see you then oh and we're gonna do that bye